Well, promise, opportunity, and changes. Tonight, Governor Henry McMaster gave his State of the State address. Renee Wunderlich is in the newsroom tonight to break it all down. Renee. Well, Nigel, the governor criticized the Biden administration, but most of his speech tonight focused on the future for South Carolina. And the one word he kept using over and over was bold. We cannot be complacent. We must act. We must make big, bold, and transformative investments in the areas of education, infrastructure, workforce, economic development. One big theme for South Carolina's governor, Henry McMaster, was infrastructure. I'm recommending to you, the General Assembly, that you provide no less than $1.26 billion to the Department of Transportation to accelerate construction, expansion, or improvements to our state-owned roads, bridges, highways, and interstates. Other big topics, jobs and taxes. The governor gave Spartanburg County kudos for new jobs at Walmart and Oshkosh. McMaster wants a 1% income tax reduction over five years. A tax cut has the impact of a pay raise. He also called for annual ethics evaluations for sheriffs and to prioritize more money for law enforcement officers and first responders. South Carolina has a $3 billion surplus of state money, plus $2.4 billion in federal funds from last year's American Rescue Plan. My executive budget dedicates $31 million in new dollars to law enforcement, public safety, and first response agencies for recruitment and retention pay raises. The Democratic response called to support medical marijuana and reject the school voucher bill. While the governor's words paint a picture of trying to solve problems that have existed for decades, his actions often focus on political extremism. We need real results for South Carolina families instead of wasting valuable time on fear and division. And Governor Henry McMaster also said South Carolina is in a mental health crisis. He wants the state to review how behavioral health is funded. Nigel, back to you.